Hello everybody, we're gonna have a look at Cloud9 versus Astralis that was played from Blast Pro Series in Copenhagen 2018. And um, this is one of the, this is one of the demos that I don't know about the game, so all all the other matches I've seen, but this game I have not seen, so great opportunity for me to 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 give it a cast and also watch it myself for the first time and you know see how it feels. Astralis are Probably the best team in the world right now, and Cloud9 have done some pretty astonishing perform performances lately, even with a new team or team members, uh, Golden, Flusha, and Kyoshima. So let's have a look at how they can perform against, uh, you know, Cloud9. Can they really beat Astralis? It's gonna be a very interesting matchup. Let's dive right into it. After, when, after Cloud9 went into the knife round, they will start on CT side. We got a pause right now for some reason. In the meantime, we can have a look at uh, all the beautiful skins of the people here. The butterfly from Rush. Flush it with the USP, flashing it upside down all the time, looking around. The tactical, it's a tactical timeout just before the match is starting. Sometimes that's, you know, exactly what you need. Generally speaking, every team has, and nowadays with the new economy and all that stuff, we have three pauses per team. But they're not one minute or 45 seconds anymore. They are just a bit lower than that. Anyway, the first round we can clearly see right now, we got four Kevlars on the CT side. We have nothing but a bomb and glocks on the T side so far. And Flush are going to be surprised in the world with his double dueling dragons, dual berettas. Usually, when I play this game, you know, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna get the dual berettas. If somebody wants them, I'm gonna donate them to somebody who has the Kevlar. It, it's definitely gonna be interesting to see what happens if we can have the match starting anytime today. Flashing those weapons around. Now we got some action Hello. going over here at T's side, so it should be Hello. better. We have in-game yeah. speech. Why do we have in-game in speech? We're not going to be talking in-game, are they? Wait, let me see if I can disable the voice enable zero. There we go. I should do better. And, you know, maybe some of us want to listen to them, but... We really shouldn't. Really shouldn't. Also, I'm pretty sure Astralis will be talking Danish, and I'm not very good at that language. Maybe one day I will. Maybe one day. Apparently, Golden is admin. Interesting. Why don't you kick, kick the game? Kick in, kick up, kick done. Start the game already. Can do it. I believe we need gold. So we got one P250 on device. With a smoke, with a flash, double flash. So we got three Kevlars right now on T side, Astralis. So I'm hoping for a bit of um, a bit of pop flash and execution, maybe onto A side or B. Let's find out. We'll soon find. Soon we shall find out where they're going. And this time I will I will remember when they're throwing grenades. Follow them with left alt. I'm, I'm still learning this business, but I'm loving it. I'm, I'm very passionate about it. I'm excited. Uh, yeah, you know, let's, let's do this, right? Is that volume? Maybe 0 0.55. 0 0.55. Does this work? Yeah, it works. Magisk confirming this works. Thank you, Magisk. Magisk in Swedish. Sipnix, would you mind? Would you mind stopping? That flipping back and forth? Can't listen to you anymore. And they're flipping here as well. How about no clip? No clip. And let's move away. Can't move it anywhere. Don't work. Alright, now. There we go! We are starting the game! Let's have a look at where they're going. Everybody, where are we going? 
first round in the Blast Pro Series Copenhagen 2018 in 4 Cloud and Anna Astralis. Best of one. Inferno. So we have a. Ooh, we got four guys over to B side from, from Cloud9. And let's look at T here. They are attacking slowly. And the first kill is being done by the priest. Second, no magic. Blush the first one, the pre magic in the second of four versus three right now. The, the, the kill has been dealt on by. By Golden. No, Kiyoshima and now Automatic with the sneaky position. Can he get him down? He not get him down. And Lave. And the last guy standing is Golden. Golden played marvelously well in Fnatic. Let's see if their the recruitment is worth his money. Not this time. Not this time. Very difficult situation. Landing in one versus three with the bomb planted onto Bisa with smokes. You gotta do something rational to make that happen. And with the new economy, we're going to see Cloud9, they will be having an eco now. Not even a grenade? Nothing? Nothing. Alright, let's follow our friends here. Device, Magist. Device with the push and the potential kill here on B. With a progression, followed by Glaive. Two guys over B side, three stationary CT on A side. A bit, of, a bit of aggression from device here being dinked by Golden with that USP. A double dink would have done it. Let's see here now. The pressure is gonna happen very soon. Rush with the defense. With Flusha. And what's gonna happen? We have a push coming in here right now. Dupree with a kill, with a second kill on, on uh, Russian Automatic, getting a 5v3 situation going, flush in the corner, little grenade. Can he survive? He's not gonna survive. Last guy standing with that Yoshima and Golden. Golden being killed and Yoshima last man standing versus 5 people. Can he get a single guy down? And the answer is no, we cannot. So, economy, economy, economy. We got a bit of weapons now on CT side. Hopefully, change things around with the 2 0 lead for Astralis. Astralis are doing a bit of a daredevil move here, in my opinion. They're keeping two UMPs and one MP5 against a fully armed M4A4. Let's see what that's gonna be. And the pressure we got right now is. Let's see, magic, full of magic here. A bit, of a, a, bit, a bit of aggression. We got Sipnix back to lurk in the mid. We got three guys with a Magisk, Device, and Glaive. We got four, four Astralis members moving over to B side. I'm being smoked off. And Golden with the smoke push as close. He's not going to be killed. Kyoshima last man standing on B. Being, being, being helped out by Automatic here. And Astralis have a lot of very, very nice positions already on the B side. We have Rush to stay in for the lurky position here, see if they, uh, they want to catch a rotation going on. Rush and Golden back and also automatic. We're gonna, we're, I'm, I'm hoping we'll see three guys on CT Cloud9 right now saving the weapons. And the hunt is happening from Astralis with the vice, with the momentum, with the confidence to bring out some of the weapons that Cloud9 are trying to save here. One guy down. What else? Moving in slowly. The pre right now. Can he spot him? Can Flush it kill one of these guys? Right. He's gonna survive, and what about Flusha? One guy killed? Two guys maybe? Would he get second one? He's not gonna get second one. And Rush getting that trade on Flusha. So we got three O's, a 3 0 lead right now. But the economy dealt, like the economy damage dealt towards the Astralis in that round was pretty severe actually. I'm thinking if it. Was it actually worth for Astralis to hunt them down like that? Probably, but at the same time no, because we have another buy around on Cloud9. Cloud9 know they took down quite a bit of firepower from Astralis. But then again, Astralis had two UMPs the previous round, what an MP5. They still have money. Let's see the preview. The push has been dealt on Banana from Kyoshima. Getting one, one guy, getting the device down, gotta be moving back. And over in B how A how and the pre. Flusha barely getting away, or he, he's just being braced. 
and Rush is getting down the pre. As Thrall is hitting us pressure now, Sipkin is being killed by Rush from Pit. What's gonna what's gonna happen to Magist with the Mala, with the smoke, with everything? He's gonna try and push out Rush from his position here. And last guy we got standing here is Glaive and Magist. Magist defending the rotation push. We have two guys on a site with Rush in pit. Magist with a Glaive gonna be taken down. Last guy standing Magist right now is gonna be ta taken down by Flusha with the UMP and economy right now. It's looking. I'm thinking we might have a yeah we should definitely definitely have a force buy from Astralis here, but they're lacking a bit of utility. I guess. Maybe not. Now we we have three smokes. We probably have full set of smokes right now. Three one. Let's find out where we're going this time. Sipnis and the pre moving on to Sacro Mid to try and try and ascertain a bit of Information here in Flusha and Automatic. Moving down mid. Let's go. Just here with a sneaky smoke move, it's gonna be taken down. And Glaive in Mexico. Can he pop up and surprise Automatic here? He's very likely gonna get that get that kill. Ooh, he's gonna be around, Oh, he's gonna be taken down. That could have ended very badly for uh, at that situation. And the pre getting the kill with a deagle. We got a 2v3 situation right now. The bomb is still far back in T spawn. So I can go and pick it up. And in the meantime, I'm guessing the pre is gonna try and kind of put up the most amount of confidence he has here. And he's in a Huantink rush. That would be a great way to open up a site. Golden and Cloud9 are a bit unaware of the of the movement on Astralis right now. It appears that they have zero information. This is it. This is is he gonna take him? It's not gonna take him down. He's, uh, Rush is falling back and he's gonna be helped out by Golden now for March moving on to Lawrence site. Instead of 35 seconds to go, so I'm not sure if we should actually device. Device could get this kill right now. Free kill. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. The last guy on A side, they know he's probably in pit or balcony. Let's have a look at Rush here. He's moving closer. Can he get him? He's gonna get one guy. The last guy standing. We got a 1v1 situation. Yoshima with an M4. He's got one flashbang at his disposal and device. Can you hear him right now? Can you hear him? He's quite as a mouse in mid. Yoshima chooses to go short side. Device with a very. I would say a very an unorthodox position here. Kyushima moving in closer, he's gonna get popped right now. Oh Kyushima with a beautiful pre-fire, landing it perfectly and secures a 3-2 situation in the game right now for Cloud9. Astral is still in the lead. We got some very beautiful channel strike going on right now. But Golden. Golden. Zero kills. Five rounds. I don't want to judge anyone, but that's going to be a bit of a problem if that continues. But I'm sure it won't. Very sure it won't. So. Astralis are moving on second mid with four people device secure and a bit of momentum and information from mid. While the other guys, Sipnix and, and his teammates are going to be going in mid. Pushing onto three guys inside mid territory. One guy long and two guys short. One, one guy short. Woo! Two hit points on Sipnix, barely standing, and Sip Dupree with the with the cojones to do this. I'm guessing. Let's see, automatic with the AVP, holding boiler. He's gonna kill Dupree, right? Oh, he's gonna miss that shot. Dupree with the momentum, he's gonna fall back. This is very interesting because right now we got the push coming in from Magist and Astralis and that pop flash is amazing. Still he dies though. Last guy standing on B right now is Kyoshima. And the push is live. Magist with the pop flash. Take over side Kyoshima with one, one more guys. Two more guys. Sipnis with two hit points. Sipnis is in. Oh, Kyoshima with the 4k defend on B. Marvelous, very beautiful. I like that. I really enjoy what I'm seeing right now. And so far on the scoreboard, 
We got a 3 Astralis, a 3 Cloud9. So both the teams are gonna, are gonna have to change their pattern here a bit. Or Astralis will have to. So the question is, do, do they need more aggression? Do they need to camp more Kyoshima and Golden? Holding tight right now on Banana. A very aggressive hold behind the Molotov. Uh, let's see if they have a smoke. They're gonna pop the grenade. He's gonna do a bit of damage on the vice. And in mid, we got the pre. Pre's gonna take a bit of. Alright. So, it's a ball bang out, of, out, of, out on whoever. But then again, I know we're close to these guys. And two guys in the One guy's on balcony. Pressure is being dealt right now onto B from the device. And one guy down from the device. And both of us guys down with the defense. And we have B open for Astralis right now. From CT, we got Flusher coming in. And we got Automatic getting one kill on the pre in mid. And Flusher has been spotted by Astralis. Lurking position, Sipnix right now. Trying to, get a bit of, uh, trying to get a bit of information from the sound cues. And I would very much. I would not. I would not recommend doing this, Sipnix. I know that you are one hell of a mind gamer. Oh, this guy's gonna do it. He's gonna hunt him down. He's ready for blood. He's getting the blood. He's going full vampire mode now. The plan is to not let any single guy from Cloud9 stand in. They have information right now. They're coming in. Not just Sipnis, but also Glaive coming in to take out the, the CTs on A site now. Two guys in pit and Flusha on the site. They really want to survive it. Glaive getting one kill, Glaive getting a second, and last guy standing is automatic. And this will be killed by Sipnis. Astralis looking for blood, and Astralis getting the blood as well. No question about it. Economy. Looking very unstable for CT. I would recommend an eco. That's what I would have done. I would have told my teammates, let's do an eco. But then again, Russian automatic should possibly throw out a few deagles. And we got one deagle, two C sets, one P250, and one 57. Will it be enough, I wonder? Flusha with a aggressive. Is it gonna be a deagle? Yeah, he's got a deagle. You you have to do it. And the put Majest would Push, he's gonna be Grayson, um, Grayson Golden, Golden barely surviving here, Golden with the P250, hoping, hoping to do a bit of damage. And we got in mid, Dupree standing in mid, and Device and Sipnix sitting at two guys on B, no, Sipnix is lurking in mid, Majest with the push on to B side now, take over, get the bomb down, that's the mission, but Flusha with the Deagle, can he get him, one guy down, can he get Majest as well? I bet he will. I bet he will. Majest is going to be monitoring him off. Automatic going to survive here or not? The pre definitely heard him. The pre is going to move in behind him. Flusha and work his magic on B now. Take down, take, take down one guy, and they definitely have a chance of doing this. They're going to be automatic. Is going to help him out now. Flusha with he's been monitored off. They're buying a lot of time, but the bomb is yet to go down, and there we have the bomb planted. Finally. Flusha is going to do the wall bang, he's not going to hit it. Glaive looking for blood again. He's in a spot, he's not spawning up the field, automatic stand, and Flusha by Glaive. And we got a 5 3 lead at, or 4, Cloud 9, uh, Astralis, I mean. Astralis in the lead, 5 2 3. On Cloud 9's side, right now, Golden after 8 rounds, we're looking at, we're looking at 1 kill, 0 assist. Flusher got four kills, but he has four, he at least he has four assists. But finally, we're, we're watching a bit of an one AVP right now. Device has an AVP as well. I kind of want to see what he's up to. But the aggressive peak, the multi match in mid, looking for blood, but it's not gonna. Is he? Will he get it? That's a very close one. On two device. Rush falling back, and they are very close. And two guys in A apps right now. Looking to sneak out and get a kill. Can they secure? They are looking. Flush us, looking towards the pre. The pre saw him. The pre definitely saw him. He's gonna go peek one more time, but they probably don't know. We got two guys here. Two guys on the other side. The push is being dealt. 
Flash, pop flash, you want to do graveyard or pit? And we still have two lurkers over to B. The bomb is still a B, B banana. But the pressure and all the information is being dealt here. It's probably... Oh, he's getting a lot of attention here. This is very dangerous. Sipnitz, Sipnitz is going to move back as well. And Glaive and Magist are moving back. Dupree is still in pit. He's still alive. Still two guys from Cloud9 on A site. Now we got the full team Astralis moving in onto A site here. It's going to be a very intense one. Sipnix going to work with his friend. Three and we got one guy down and he's being traded by Flush. Flush is being killed by Sipnix and we got a 4-3 situation right now. We got automatic in Arch but nobody's going Arch. Magist waited for the rotation coming from Banana but he's not going to find anyone so he's going to, be have, he's going to have to sit there for quite a while longer. Golden right now giving away the sound cue to Astralis. And we got a one guy, we got a 3v3 situation now. Device, missing that shot, he, oh, he's, he's not gonna survive this. Will he? Magist in that frag. We have automatic, gonna be falling back with Kyoshima. The A site on Inferno is one of the worst maps, or worst bomb sites to retake. There's so many angles, so many, so many positions. Extremely difficult to take over if you have a man disadvantage like Cloud9 had, had in this very case. So we have a 6 lead for Astralis versus Cloud9-3. That's still very tight rounds, so I mean... Let's see, we got a 3-3-3 three, three, three right now. 3 Astralis, 3 Cloud9, 3 Astralis. So, something tells me that Cloud9 is going to break the pattern right here, right now, with an eco. Pretty much, they have one AVP, they have one M4, they got three Deagles, and Sipnis is being taken down. But Device, with the push, Kishima being taken down, 5v3 five, five situation right now. And last guy standing is Golden on B. So he can, he's taken down heads before, and they're moving on to B, taking over B side right now. Let's see here, Rush is looking for the pre. He's not gonna get him. Golden. Pushing out smoke, just not gonna push it. And device is taking him down. One guy CT flusher. Will he find that headshot on device? He's not gonna be doing that. Last guy standing rush. Looking for a headshot or two. Gain a bit of momentum. Breaks down the economy. A little bit of a strata switch. And they have a lot of money right now. They have 11,000 on Sipnix. They got 5,500 is the least, least amount of money they have. Ranging from 5.5 to 10 to 10.6k. Very steady economy. And this should be of course every round when you're at a disadvantage like this one is gonna be a very important one. But the Astralis has momentum. You can see how they're moving with confidence onto banana right now. Device with the push. They have three guys here right now. So they're just gonna go let me take him down. Help by device. See here, lurking Sipnitz over at A apartments. We have two guys on A side still. And Glaive taking the lead here. Automatic with that sneaky position. Can he get one? Is it get two? Three? Oh, so close! He's getting four guys there. And we have a 2v2 situation, but the device is barely alive with one hit point. Sipnitz, what is happening? Don't jump out. You might die. He almost died, but he's still alive. We have Rush on A side. Flusha on B site. The bomb is moving with the vice with one hit point slowly over to B site. Molotov has given away the information. So Flusha is going to push and Sipnitz is going to hold. Flusha should wait. Flusha has to wait for his friend right now. He has to wait for Rush to help him out. Go to the, go together as a pack here. It's going to give them insane advantage with the amount of hit points they have. Let's look. That's going to be a very interesting round. Device with a very unorthodox un 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 position. I like it. And he's barely, barely, barely dying there. Russia is going to be taken down almost. Sipnix is dying. And we have a 7 4 situation right now. And the Cloud9 gets yet another round. I'm glad to see it. I'm sorry. I am terribly sorry. I really should have watched that views, 
but I didn't. And I probably jinxed it, you know? Astral is getting another round. There is not enough time to defuse. Oh man, I'm focusing on run. I'm, ter I'm terribly sorry about that. So, we have a 3-3-5 three, three, situation right now on, th on the scoreboard. Let's watch a bit more automatic here. Anti city side. Golden put it on the Molotov. They're not going to push. We have three guys over B side or B banana. And that Molotov does a lot of damage. Device can take a bit of damage here. So we have Device and Glaive being taken, taking quite a bit of damage. And Rush is killing the pre onto mid. Flush up. Rush. Automatic. Two guys moving on. Two guys moving on. So on device. And B is being defended by Kiyoshima and Golden. The Crown Tide is going to be over here at B side probably. Ooh, it's not a bad one. Very close. Golden barely surviving that headshot from the AK through the smoke. We have flashes and pops and everything going on right now. Glaive pushing over into side with the bomb. We got Kiyoshima on the boost. They're trying to get it down, but Sipnitz takes them down. We have Golden. Ooh, we still get ball banned or smoked banned by Sipnitz. And two guys remaining. Flusha. No, three guys. Flusha, Automatic, and Rush. Flusha probably with the first. Uh... Ooh, that grenade. Mr. Sipnitz barely alive. Let's have a look at Automatic going for first contact. They the play. He's gonna die. He's gonna die very quickly. Flusha getting possibly getting all the dance. The dance behind the fountain is so beautiful. Last just then is Rush right now, trying to bait out the kill on or bait out the information on Sipnitz, and he's gonna bait it again. Oh, this is turn back territory. Turn back territory. And even though we have we have nine rounds on the board for Astralis, we have three on Cloud9. As you can see right now, we have one guy standing on each of the side. When a round is over, so many people are dead. So every round is very close to be in either Astralis's round or Cloud9's round. Very interesting. Economy is looking as bad as it can be because you don't have enough for... Yeah. We have a, we have a tactical pause right here. Something has to change for Cloud9. Is it positions? It, it, is it focusing more on boost? Is it trying to be more aggressive? You know, maybe go, maybe go for more for I don't know, second mid pushing. Uh, take balcony control a second mid. Maybe uh, it's really hard to to figure out what to do here. But I'm guessing if if we can utilize you know a boost on short maybe. And sit that guy and focus more people over at B. So if if maybe we have three guys on B side, banana pushing down, getting momentum, using grenades, using monotones to take over more information. And then use smokes to sit far down on banana for cloud nine. And maybe ah, I don't know, it's re really difficult right now, but flusha with a grenade, and we have three guys moving on over to banana. Two guys only. Device and lay. Dupree, we're very confident, moving over here towards Boiler, and he's going to be possibly taken down by Automatic, but Dupree and Sipnix right now taking control of Apartments and Sacrament. And Device and Magisk, and Device and Glaive are doing a, a, a beautiful boost here, and that's going to cost gold on his life, moving into that angle, very unfortunate. And Kyoshima moving into a very perfectly timed, yeah, you know, smoke bang. I'm not, I'm not sure. Smoke bang sounds good. You can't see them. You're, you're gonna shoot them and you're, you're wall banging because you can't see them through the wall either. Flush are gonna try to survive here and they're looking for blood. They, they have spotted them and it's gonna be taken up by Sipnix right now. I'm not gonna survive. There's no chance. And we have five people surviving on Astralis side. Economy is through the roof. We don't even have to look at the economy anymore for Astralis. But Cloud9 now. Three rounds. Astralis with 10. So just deep breaths, boys. Cloud9. Take it easy. 
Deep breaths, be calm, be focused. It's far from over. 310 is far from over. Cloud9, with the players Cloud9 have, they can have amazing, absolutely amazing terrorist sides here. Golden still. Ooh, device. That's not cool. Not cool, device. That's not how you do it. Automatic's gonna get that beautiful smoke push with, with a perfectly timed shot through the smoke. And Stratos are moving back from B. Zipnix. Ooh! What's happening? Can't do that. You cannot do that, Zipnix. That's not cool. Flush it with the. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, yeah, the device knows. The device knows. Smoke, you know, a smoke means nothing in this game. Automatic. Go for another one. Come on, go for another one. What's gonna happen? Yeah, she must uh, he's not gonna get any attention. Automatic right now. We got the pre on site. That Sipnitz in graveyard. The automatic in library and majesty in the house. Why isn't automatic calling his friend Yoshima to move? I'm very very confused right now. But it doesn't matter. Bomb has been planted. And let's look at automatic right now. What's gonna happen with him? What can he possibly do in a situation like this? Astralis are clever. They are confident, but they're not doing any unnecessary movements here. They won't. And Yoshima, with the timer, should not be going for this. But we have a 310 situation here. One guy's down. One guy's down. But he won't have, yeah, he won't have enough time. There's no need. Dupree should look for him. But Kyoshima is going to do the unexpected push here. Dupree is not going to see this coming. He, sh he should not be here. He gets him as well. And Magist is running away. That's a, ooh. That's a beautiful, 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 beautiful spray. If only I had that one. 11 rounds for Astralis and 3 for Cloud9. Final round of the first half. And they're throwing weapons left and right. Let's see, Automatic now is using the Mag 7. So what's it gonna be? What's he gonna do? Mag just with. Yeah. He's gonna fall back. Just get some information, secure the space of the map for Astralis. Golden, on the other hand, and Kyoshima, sitting tight on B side, as they should. They should stay put. Golden, don't f don't go again. Stay put. Stay back now. All right, good boy. Magic. He's being wall banged by his friend and Molotov by his friend as well. What is happening here? They're having a bit too too much fun, I suppose. Four guys outside B right now and Sipnix over in mid and automatic. He definitely heard the sound cue. Will he get it? Will he fall back? He's not gonna fall back. Magis, device, and Glaive. And Glaive being taken down. He's gonna take over the, the front. It's gonna be Glaive. And we have Golden, Kirishima, and Flusha. Four guys, every one of us two is moving over to Banana. Now we have two guys on A side for CT. We have three guys in total around B side for Cloud9. And the push is being dealt, and he's gonna be. Golden is gonna die from the pre with the opener. And final guy standing on B side is Kirishima. We have Rush here, it's gonna rush over. Don't pick up the AK. I will give away a very, very important sound cue. Automatic is not gonna get it. Finally, final, final guy standing for the final round is none other than Rush. And they know. They should have a notion of where he is. And there we go, we have a, another round on the board for Cloud9. And we got a 4 11 situation coming into the second half here. Very, very difficult game for Cloud9 so far. Astralis are playing out of their minds Channel Strike right now. As they should. They are, as I said, and according to statistics as well, they are one of the best game or one of the best teams, if not the best team in the world right now. And also, very important to note here, Astralis are playing on home turf in Copenhagen in the Blast Pro Series. Right? They have a lot of momentum, they have a lot of 
they're they're being backed up by an entire arena they can feel it but i'm sure cloud man has a ton of fans as well in the building but it is after all home turn for astralis but we want to all of us want to see more momentum from cloud nine and here we go we're pushing on to a site or b site five guys in the front we got rush right now last guy standing on b is sip mix and they're being pushed from behind by magist and golden nose golden with the de with the defense one guy two guys almost and four, only flusha and kyoshima standing flusha baiting one guy out magist two hit points and he still didn't that guy as well kyoshima still need one kill kyoshima still yet let's see here let's watch him let's watch him He's not gonna get it and we have the first the second pistol round going towards Astralis and they did after all win the first one as well so Astralis so far in this game they have two pistol rounds which is very important because there are not a lot of teams these days who do force if they like if if a team loses a pistol round they're not going to force because of the new because of the new new economy system you lose you you, you get 2000 instead of 1400 so the majority of players and teams they're saving they're saving money for to buy a second round but cloud9 got the plant but they're not going to do that russia over with the mac 10 you're looking for blood, looking to stack up some money. What we really need here is if he's gonna take him down. And in the meantime, we got automatic killing device and the pre returning automatics death. Let's see here now. Rush, surely he heard the pre. But over Golden, he's gonna see one guy, he's gonna take him out. Sipnix being taken out as well by Rush. And we have. The Eagles are representing Channel Strive right now, and I love it. I love to see it. We have one more round on the board for Cloud9. And I dare say this. Like I said, when I'm playing myself, even though we have... Even though if we have a 213, you know, 213 disadvantage, we're not giving up. We're going to stay focused. We're going to stay positive, and we will do this. If they can do it, we can do it. And Cloud9 and Astralis, they're both... A ranked teams, unquestionably A ranked teams. Golden here is gonna find the Sipnix, the first one. He's very low though, being brought down to 22 hit, two hit points. And the last guy standing on B, and he's being backed up though by, by Device and Glaive. And we're looking for contact here. Dupree just outside of Boiler. And he's gonna find one guy, will get him? He's gonna get him. And he, Rush is gonna hunt him down. He's praying for the pre to go look for the weapon now, and Flusha will not find anyone. So we have two guys in mid, and Rush is over. He's gonna get the kill on to the pre. With last guy standing on A side, is not gonna get it. Two guys remaining, sorry, two guys remaining on Astralis in CT spawn now, and they know automatically have heard him. Pretty sure he heard him. Yep, definitely. Device. Better watch out, better watch out. And leave. Bomb is being planted by Golden. Uh, default plant, and we should have some contact coming in from Glaive here right now against Flusha. Let's watch it, let's watch it happen. Reflexes. Glaive was very ready, and Flusha puts two, two and a half to secure the death of Glaive. We're looking good now. We got two more rounds on the board for Cloud9. You know, Inferno T side reminds me a lot about Overpass T side. If you have momentum, if you have momentum on T side, you can push and take over not just one time, but more than one time. Over and over. And we have Glaive here. It's been. Ooh. Trying to electrocute somebody now. Very white. Pop the headshot. Go for it. Oh, he's almost getting it. He's so low as well. Finding out standing on B is Sipnix. In the meantime, Dupree gets a kill on Rush. And we have Automatic trying to fall back now. Move, move to his teammates over on B side. The bomb is still on T spawn. Russia. And Sipnix. 
that's a that's a very interesting position. Never thought of that before. I would probably never look there. Ooh, ooh. Hit him! Hit him! One guy, two guys! Oh! It's so close now! Two guys flush shot. It's gonna get one kill. Flush shot automatic are both very low. And we have device. Wait for your teammate, Dupree, and you can do this. Flesher. Looking for blood. Ooh, he's gonna get one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Last guy standing automatic with the bomb. He knows. Dupree knows as well. Go run. Go run. Start running. Start running. Start running. You have the bomb. <gasps> he's. Dupree. Dupree smells it. It would have been a very smart move for automatic to move over to ASAP because ASAP was clear. But this is even better. He's being quiet. Not making a noise, Dupree does what he should do according to Automatic. He's moving over. Now Dupree knows he's not on A site. But Automatic can safely plant the bomb and we can have a look at the clutch situation coming in for Automatic or Dupree. Dupree or Automatic. What's it gonna be? And Dupree has a Molotov. He's gonna use it. But there's nobody there. The Dupree now know, or, or, or Automatic now knows where he is. And the oh yeah, Automatic he knows. He's, he's gonna save it. Perfectly played by Automatic. The Dupree's gonna save that weapon. Automatic will likely die with the bomb here unless he's gonna try and take out Dupree and diminish some of the economy that Astral has at this point. Automatic is not gonna survive though. Uh, but another round on the board for Cloud9. 7 against 12. With Astralis. Looking, I'm look yeah, there we go. We now we have a an AVP on device's hands. And he has done and he will do things with that AVP. We've seen it before, we're definitely gonna, gonna see it again. Moving over. Device with the aggressive peak here. Not gonna do it. Dupree! With the push, this is some, oh, automatic, automatic gonna get him down. Being returned by device though in mid, and in the meantime we got Golden killing Glaive and Sipnix returning the favor to kill Golden as well. So we have two guys over B side with CT and device killing another guy and securing a three v two situation right now. And rush with Flusha over to A side. Sipnix with a short holding position over in library we, we got Magisk and in the meantime Sipnix is staying on B site. Rush got one guy down. Magisk to defend the site against two guys here. Get one! Oh my god a headshot! That is out of this world headshot flush. Ooh that flick though I love it. Love to see it. Now it's time for Rush to shine. 2v1 situation. Magisk with 24 hit points. And Sipnix with a hundred. First contact, one guy down. Will he know? Magist hides in this point. Oh, he's gonna turn around in the nick of time and secure another AVP, another round, and it's all good. Everybody's happy. Rush with 18 kills. And 16 automatic. 19, 19 on both Sipnix and Device, and they're playing really good counter strike right now. But I can definitely feel the momentum, I can feel the confidence being built back into a Cloud9 team right now. I love to see it, I love to see it. Sipnix with the Molotov and the Deagle? No, he's, he's got a P250. And Golden's gonna be killed, or Golden killing Glaive over a B site. Golden gonna be looking for more blood over here. Molotov being pushed out to secure a bit of space and secure the sandbags over on Banana's site. Sipnix tightly sitting here. Good boy holding. And the three are looking for the, for the shot and he's not gonna get it. And in the meantime, we have a completely open site for Cloud9. Sipnix over T spawn, CT spawn. Look for a couple of lucky headshots here. And Magisk. Looking for a kill, that's not gonna get it. Last guy standing is Sipnix. And the bomb is being planted by Cloud9. And we should have a 9 12 situation on the board right now. Any minute. Sipnix is smelling the flowers in the meantime. 
Quite extraordinary. Hey, please put put away that fire. It's not supposed to be here. And automatic. Will he return the favor? He's gonna get it. Automatic also one of those guys who enjoys the flowers. So he will be looking at them the first thing he does instead of looking after the player. And he's gonna get him. 18 frags for automatic and also 18 frags for rush right now. I love it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it. Da -da -da -da. Ba -da -ba -da 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 9 12 situation for Cloud 9. And can they bring another round on the board? Situation a 10 12 score or not? Let's see. Sipnix is holding off that smoke. He's gonna smoke and he's gonna push through. I can feel it. He's pushing. And Flush is gonna get be the, be the winner of that duel. In the meantime, we have some action over Banana Butt. We have Rush over in A Apartments. With Kiyoshima against Dupree and Magist. Automatic securing. Let's see. Take over mid. Very defensive positions right now. Device in a lovely position over Banana. And we're gonna see three guys of Astralis moving over to A side. Very, very smart move. And the push is happening. The pre holding short. Magist holding apartments. And we got contact any second now. You better put that weapon out. Oh, he's gonna die. Yeah, that's that's not gonna work out. And they're pushing around. Dupree with the defense. Tiyoshima killing Magisk and Dupree is dead. Yeah, standing on A site. Last guy alive. This device. You better save that AVP. That lovely red line AVP that I have myself. Love the, I love the red line skin. Flush is gonna get him. I feel it. It's an easy headshot. Very, very sneaky, beautiful position from Flush at that. <laughs> well, then and there. And we have another tactical timeout for Astralis. Which is very understandable considering we have six rounds in a row for Cloud9. So like I said before, you know, even though even though we might have a 12-3 a or 11-4 or situation, we are professionals. We're, we're not giving up. We have... People want us to win, and we want to win as well. We're not giving up. We're not backing down. We will kill them. We will get round by round, work, kill by kill. Pop flash each other, grenade the, the opponents. We will do everything we can to provide beautiful chance strike for the people, for the world. And they are. And I love it. This is the best about channel strike. It doesn't matter if you have a... I'm not kidding. Well, that's unnecessary. Particularly in that disc over, over the device. I'm not sure why, but I mean... A little friendly... Friendly tickles never hurt nobody, I suppose. But a, a knife might be unnecessary. Sipnix with the CZ. With Clave over on B-side. But we have Kranta coming in right now. Will be enough. Golden getting the first kill, and the second kill is being the free. A device going to be taken down as well. We have Rush and Golden still in mid. But yes, Magis, with the headshot, I was going to say. Slave, 8 hit points. Oh, he's going to get it. Oh! Oh! No! Slave so close with the jumping ding. But he can't build on it. 11-12. 11-12. Time for this fellow. This fellow right here. To make the opener. I can feel this chat getting the opener now. But he's going over to apartments. That's interesting. We have uh, immense amounts of economy over at cloud Nine side. So Astralis must have this one. This is a must have round right now. A full buy. No money whatsoever. We have 700, uh, 700 on the pre. We have three guys over B, like I said before, three guys over B with a push to gain a bit of momentum and take him down. Device didn't a second one. And now the push has been dealt onto A site from Astralis. And automatic. Automatic. He heard him. Wanted out from Rush. Automatic's gonna get this guy now. And we have a 3v3 situation as well. Magist in library. Dupree over in pit. Rush. And Kyoshima. Time to show. Play okay, this game. And the has been pushed down into the open, being killed by Rush and Magic's return to the favor. We have a 2v2 situation. Yoshima killing that guy on sight, and last guy sending the Sipnix. And the bomb has been planted by automatic. Yoshima over hiding in graveyard. 
Automatic quit the secure in that AVP. Let's see. Sipnix should go for it. He will go for it. And he needs to get this round on the board to return the favor. And he misses that first shot. He's not gonna get this one. Oh, so close, and we have a 12 man. This is amazing. This we have eight rounds in a row for Cloud9. Beyond. It is beyond. It is time for the team manager, the in-game leader, the entire Astralis team to do something very different. Very different right now. That's what we need. Automatic and Russia play an amazing chance like 22 frags or 21 frags on both of them. And this is it. Sipnix with the amazing forest buy here. It's not a forest, it's actually a semi ECRO. They stand about 2000, very important. Rush is rushing mid. And they're stacking up 2000 short. And Magis getting the opening kill on Kishima over at A house. Now Rush is time. Magis looking for more. And we have Astralis working over, or Cloud9 working over a B side right now. Sipnix with the C said, surely gonna get the opening kill on Golden right here. He's not gonna get it. Last guy standing on B right now is Glaive being supported by Device. Glaive with the C said, one guy, and he's gonna die. And Device with the push on C said, getting flush it down. We have the three guys, three Cloud9 guys over at B side right now. And Device and Dupree pushing that smoke. Come on, get it. Perfect pushing. Very nice position here for for a for device. A magist. Gonna kill Golden. Device with the, this is a lethal position here. Here the scope and he's gonna go for it. This is a oh so close and we have yet another round for cloud for cloud nine. Yet another beautiful round here. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Astralis. Don't worry, yes, I'm not gonna push anymore. You know what you have to do. I'm sure you know. I know that you know what you have to do. To me, it's pretty ironic to see Glaive in this position. Glaive is usually the guy, in my opinion, that does the most, like, the most amazing plays. Golden. Very tight position is Sipnix is surely uh, taken down. Magia is killing Kirishima in the process over at A side. A apps. Two guys, two as well as guys still. And Glaive with the opener. That's the way we do it, Glaive. That's what I told you. you get him down, get the second one, and the third one as well. Last guy standing is automatic. Let's see what's going to happen with the vice here. The AWP duel is happening. The vice is not going to peak. Oh, yeah, he is. Automatic is gonna get it. One round or one minute, five seconds on the board. We're in this very round for Automatic to do something. And Device is going for a sneaky push with the AVP and apps. And here we go, this is the duel. And Automatic gets him down with momentum right now. Magis hears him and Magis gonna get him. And welcome back in the game, Astralis. A 13, 13, 13 scoreboard right now. And we're back. They are finally back in the game. Now it's game time. Now I wonder how much did that... They're, they're pulsing? Aha. All right. So I'm thinking they're pulling down momentum now. Right? Cloud9 has so much momentum overwhelming with momentum so what do they have to do to take it down even more we have to use the we have to use the pause we have to make their their hot hands and you know hot hot fingers calm them down their psychological momentum have to bring that down as well in order to secure the game secure yet one more round let's we'll see if it's gonna work out i hope i really hope it will have fun you too golden have fun you too man What's it gonna be? And we got Glaive moving into mid, probably with a with a grenade or something. Let's see, grenade maybe. AVP. 
Uh, that's gonna hit nobody, just the one guy. And we have uh, Glaive falling back, Magis with the apps position right now. And over on B, we have Sipnix with the Vice. And see if we got the pre. The pre moving back over. And Rush securing the apartments right now, going at the boiler with three guy two guys on Astratus on A site. And we have a rotation coming in from Glaive over to where nothing happened on B site. Nothing happened. We have one guy, Flusha, pulling all that attention. Lethal attention here right now. Making noise. And Magist with the defense. Will it be enough, I wonder? Let's find out. We have the we have device moving in onto library side. And this is it. Golden moving in, but he's being pushed back by the Molotov. Perfectly placed Molotov there. Sipnix over in Arch. Dupree very close to combat here. Very close to combat. Golden. And Dupree. They're falling back now. So with with that momentum that they pushed onto Ace, they're gonna turn around. And Glaive is going to boost up Sipnix onto the CT boost. The bomb is still over here. Instead of 20 seconds right now to do an execute, the bomb has to move. The bomb is going to move over. Oh, this is going to be a perfectly timed bomb placement from Cloud9. But they have to open up the site quickly. The last guy standing on the A side is Dupree. Defend this one and you have to run. He's still alive. That's insane. It's insane. He's going to plant the bomb in just enough time. Being pushed by device. Device is gonna get. Let's see. Device has been helped though. 37 hit points. Been helped by a sip next to be ending up in trauma with gold and or flush again. Being the winner that do on the last guest enemy is Glaive right now. Glaive moving into short to challenge flush in graveyard and rush on A site. He's gonna jump, he's gonna jump, he's gonna pop it, he's gonna miss it. The first one he's gonna sit and hide. Flush is surely gonna get gonna win this duel. Cannot wall bang. Well, he probably can, but he can't hit it. And even if it did, it would have been uh, it would have been a very, very, very tight situation for them. 14 rounds for Cloud9, we have 13 for Astralis, and yet another post coming in for Astralis side. And the drink. Definitely have a force coming up here, and we do one UMP, three CZ. We have one diffuse kit on Glaive, and Sipnix has not bought yet. He should go for let's see, maybe P250 grenade flash or smoke and uh, smoke grenade P250. No CZ and smoke. Oh, all right. In case some of you guys don't know. There might be someone watching who doesn't know this, but if you're facing terrorists and they have money, 90% of the chance, like 90% of the times, you don't need to purchase a helmet. You're saving 350 because a, an AK shooting you in the head is in a one shot, you no matter. But the M4 will not. That's why it's more important for terrorists to have to have head armor in comparison to T side. All right, so we have action coming in here. Rush over at the same, as always, over at AFs. Magist with a, a, um, a balcony position here. Rush gonna be looking for the early peak from the pre. The priest's not gonna peak, and he peaks, and he doesn't get nothing. And he's jumping down the sand. Q is given, but they saw Q, she missed. Well, they know we have two guys over at B. And in the meantime, Blusha and Golden are doing absolutely nothing but holding that push. Sipnis and Glaive Holden, and we should have contact over. Here, right now on his side. Very patient. Very, very patient. Secure the space. And we have Sipnix right now. And Device. And the Defend. Contact should happen right now from Majesty. And that sound cue is giving away position. Bomb is moving over. Back to Banana. Should be a fake though, should be a fake considering the positions of uh, Cloud9 right here, we should have a fake coming. Let's see. Magis close combat by getting not one. Did I get one guy here, Kyoshima? 
I still can't find Magist over there and Device with a double kill with the CSN in the meantime. And last CSN is two achievement right now. Will he get it? He get one kill. He's gonna face one round short right now. Uh, and there is no time. Even I forgot about the time. Survive and he's gonna survive. So once again we're in a 14 tied we're in a tied score position. 14 Astralis, 14 Cloud9. And the thing is, economy is still great. Even though they might lose this round, they still have full AKs on four out of five guys the next round. Even probably with the with the amount of money that Flusher has, to still have full AKs one more round. So even though Astralis might be able to break break their momentum right now, if they win this round, they will still face full weapons even if in the 30th. This is the 29th round right now. Very tight game, tight game. It, we would not see this coming when we ended up when we watched the first half. Here we are, 14-14. It's tighter, it's more tense than ever. Over at B we have we have nothing happened at B so far. Very passive, and Astralis have seen to or Cloud9 has seen to move most of the people over at A side most of the times they're taking apartment control and then just hold and wait for pushing. But Astralis have realized you cannot push anymore. If you do, you're being taken down. That Molotov is gonna stop Automatic from pushing by a bit more time, get a bit more information. With the bomb, we have Flush in the mid. Bomb is down in Mexico. Golden holding hold over at B site. And let's see, it's Lave. Lave with the pop flash. Dupree over on A site. He spots Dupree. Magisk over in pit. He's gonna be the first one to encounter Kyoshima unless he's being flashed off. And Glaive gets automatic over at Lauren right now. And now the momentum is coming. Or the people are moving in on B. Golden. Pushing that smoke, getting the open on Sipnitz, being killed by Device though from construction side. Flush is surely gonna get this kill, but he doesn't. And they have the bomb being planted. Flush has planted a bomb standard plant for him for uh, for them right now, and we have Kishima in the corner. Flusha with a very aggressive and unnecessary position there, in my opinion. Kiyoshima, last guy standing, with just three people, and Glaive is almost dead. Glaive almost died from that Molotov. He can definitely do this. I can I can definitely see this happening. Get laid down, he's gonna be killed by Majest in the end, getting perfect double peak against him in shadow position. Will they have it? Yeah, they have. This time, this time they have time for the views. They do. The final round. Will we have overtime? Or will it be a 16, 14, 30th round victory for Astralis? Will it be? Let's see what the guys are going to do now. We have... So yeah, this is a full buy on both the teams where no handicap, no nothing, full armor, full everything, both the sides. This flash here. Hmm, interesting. Device secure in mid position. They should realize let's see, imagine might be pulled off guard. He's gonna be he's, yes, automatically getting a first kill on device. And yet one guy, Dupree getting another guy, and we have Let's see, automatically and rush being killed. We have a 3v4 situation for Cloud9. Bringing this to overtime is going to take a bit of... A bit of... A bit of power. Golden hoping for the push over at B. Nothing's happening. Very defensive position over at CT. For Sipnix and Lave. And now we should have contact from... Yoshima And Flusha. Golden to use the momentum to push in, bait in a bit of, of, of information, but they're sitting tight. Device and Dupree are staying over at this side. They, they do not buy that bait. That fake is not happening. Device with contact over here. Maybe not. Hiroshima moving over the large side with Golden. Golden follow back to Hiroshima staying, and the, he heard the sound cue for Sipnix. It's a very close, close time. He gets, a, he gets a second kill as well, Sipnis. Both Kyoshima and Golden. And last guy standing to do the clutch is Flusha against four people. Sipnitz and Lave are somewhat kind of low. They've been tired at least, but will this be enough? I have a hard time thinking it will. The sound is given. We have a 16 14 win for Astralis in his very first game on Blast Pro Series Copenhagen 2018.
wow amazing so yeah thank you for watching Woo, tight very very harsh very very difficult but i had a great time thank you for watching have a great day hope you enjoyed the match as much as i did have a good one